Um, the Juice 2010 is my fifth edition of my annual wine guide. Um, this year's has changed slightly from last year's. We've changed the format, a little bit of the guide. I guess the, the big thing that's impacted on this year's guide has been the GFC and the fact that obviously the downturn in the economy has affected everything, wine guides included. So what we wanted to do this year was, because we were limited by, I guess, budgets and we changed format and we changed printing and all kinds of things, we wanted to really focus the guide on value for money. So a lot of what's in the guide this year, we've kept the categories the same in the guide, so based on previous years, but what we've changed is the pricing parameters. So there's a lot of things in this year's guide that are, I guess sort of they fall into between ten and 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 twenty dollars and you know twenty five dollars. The splurge chapter in the guide, which is kind of where we've traditionally kind of thrown caution to the wind and thrown budget out the window, we've really we've brought the ceiling down to about fifty dollars this year. So I guess that's probably the big change with this year's guide. But yeah, I guess you know the guide's one of those things that after five years is constantly evolving. And so two thousand and two thousand and tens represents you know part of that transition. The idea of the juice started about seven years ago. Um, I was living in London at the time, and when I moved to London, I was working for an organisation, being 15, where we had at the time probably about six or seven staff members, and it was easy. We all worked in one office, and you know, nobody. I was the only person that dealt with wine, um, and all of those guys, they, like like most people, you know, who don't work with wine, they, you know, they, they're constantly sort of wondering about what things they can try, how they can improve their wine experience. So I'd constantly get people coming to me saying, I'm having friends over, I'm doing roast chicken, it's gonna be four of us, I'm, I only wanna spend $10, what do I buy? So I was forever kind of like, I had a little stack of post-it notes and I'd be like writing down ideas for them to go and, you know, wines to try and things like that. And um, I thought there must be an easier way because our staff sort of went from eight sort of to, to sort of 16 to 50 to you know when we opened 15 we grew to about 150 people and it was it was enormous so more post-it notes than I knew what to do with and so I thought there must be an easy way so I started sending an internal email to all staff every Friday and it was called the juice the idea being that it was just a it's a really user-friendly email that people could kind of get some wine recommendations that always you know that always it'd be light it'd be you know a um, little bit of information there on something to do with wine be it a variety be it you know the importance of the right glassware temperature just those little things that most people kind of wonder about and so that's where it sort of started from but then you know I, I kind of I created a bit of a monster and I didn't realize until I I went away on holidays for about sort of six weeks and I came back and I hadn't sent it for six weeks after having sent it religiously for about a year and I had the closest thing I've ever had to sort of hate mail in my inbox from all my colleagues just sort of saying where is it why haven't you sent it you know so I knew I'd created a monster so I decided that from then on probably the easiest thing to do would be to roll it into a guide to do one a year and sort of to be able to create a guide that sort of took a sort of a snapshot um, of, of the world of wine which is a moving thing there's constantly things coming onto the market and things going off so it's very difficult to sort of you know do a guide and take a snapshot of of you know a, a space in time where you've got a hundred wines and you know that was what I decided to do with it and here we are five years on.